Hello everyone, it's Board Earth Revenant. In this video, I will be ranking three Lego sets as of today. I know it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges and bananas because, you know, uh, comparing three things, but I figured it'll be a fun video. And besides, I haven't posted in a couple weeks, and that's good reason for that. But, however, I'm going to start with the most well-known tanks first. Start with the ATCE. When I'm done with this comparison, I will uh, tell you my favorite among these three. My personal favorite. First up, the 22 ATTE Walker. This came out a couple years ago. It's got a rotating cannon. Or, the cannon rotates 360 degrees. It tilts up and down too, which is pretty nice. Going to the gunner and sitting on, the, sitting on the thing doesn't stay in too well, but it's not too big of a deal. Calm down, Daphne. The back opens to reveal a little troop compartment. Let's turn it around here. I got three 212 cones in there, which are included with the set. And it just closes up really, really simply. All you really got to do is put it together like that, and it like flashes in. And yeah. And the front of the ATC opens too. Can't really show it because my tripod. But it's got two seats in there for clones, or whatever, really. But yeah. And here's a really nice feature. The, the cabin for the driver comes off. You can come off and uh, you put a driver in there. So that's a really cool feature. And as of right now, I got Commander Cody in there driving the ATTE Walker. This is what the, the window looks like. All right, I'm gonna put that thing back in there. And I'm gonna review the next item here. But what I do like about the ATC Walker, depending on how you move it, the middle leg's move. I think that's a really fun little play feature there. And it features a carry handle. So you can pick her up if you want. If you want to, you can pick it up. So you don't have to like pick it up on the underside or carry it very awkwardly. Next up is the Republic Juggernaut. My favorite among these three sets. I'm just gonna get that out of the way now. Mainly because it looks cool, it's wheels, it's very, very unique. And it's so, due to the her wheels, it's a lot of fun to play with, I think. That's what I've noticed about it. It's a lot, a lot of fun to roll around. And it's got suspension, so that's pretty nice. It turns too, so that's pretty cool. And it's a really unique feature there. Not only that, I've got you got a little opening hatch there to reveal two clone troopers there. That's what I've gotten there now. Now, one other thing I like about this set is the fact that it's highly modifiable, highly modular. It has a very modular interior, I think. I like the ATTE. Here's a comparison here. It features a carry handle. And it slides back in when you're done letting go of it. It's got a latch to hold this little panel in place. Reveal what's in there. I've got four four shock troopers in there, or course on guard clones in there. If you look very closely, I got a little uh, motorcycle in there, a red motorcycle, red, red Lego City stunts motorcycle in there. And we'll close it up, it latches really simply. There's supposed to be a little gun rack in here, but I don't have it in there because I didn't bring it with me. But the back opens too. Reveal not only the top but the front too. And you got as of right now I got two clones in there, so that's pretty cool. Just like the front. And yeah, you got rotating laser cannons up front, they go up and down. The turret up here rotates 360 degrees, and so does this back one here where the clone is sitting on it. The man the turret back there. And this one and that is the Republic Juggernaut. I'm gonna go into the TX-130 Saber. Though it is called the Republic Fighter Tank by Lego. And this is called the Clone Turbo Tank because of uh, Lego's license with Marvel. They don't want to use Juggernaut. They didn't want to aggravate Marvel. So that's what they ended up doing. Calling it, calling it something different. In the universe, it's called the A6 Juggernaut. But Lego calls it something different and for good reason. 
Next, this is uh, the lightest of all these tanks in universe, the TX-130 Sabre. But this is this came out the same year as the ATTE 2022. I had to make some modification to the set. I had to put tires on the wheels underneath it so it rolls better. I also had to glue the pins on the turrets. Turrets still move, but I only had to glue the pins into the little uh, the joints themselves because they wouldn't stay in place. I'm sorry. I know you're all going to hate that for me or some of you. But here are little features. It opens up in the back. Not too much space back there, but not supposed to have a lot of space. Not only is it a tank, but it's, well, a light tank. And so hatch on top, this dark red hatch on top opens kind of, it's a little bit of a struggle to open it but it opens that's pretty cool you can close it up too and a little feature about this tank the fact that it the front opens granted the uh corn trooper barely fits in there like 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 real life tanks but this particular tank came with mace windu and three 187th clones and a couple battle droids that is a goaded lego minifigure selection i am a huge fan of that i'm glad that lego f uh, added made uh, 187 clone troopers well done lego and uh, yeah that's that and now i'm going to compare all these three sets and i've already gone over like what i like about them i'm going to go over what I, not only what i don't like about them i'm also going to compare the two kind of these are all Republic vehicles, all vehicles used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars, during the dying days of the Jedi Order and the Republic. I'm just going to get that obvious crap out of the way. And now on to the less obvious things. Uh, the oldest set of all these sets is 2011. This one came out in 20, this is 2011, the Clone Turbo Tanker Republic Juggernaut. And yeah. These sets are really cool, don't get me wrong, but... My least favorite among these personally is uh, the, the TX-130, especially stock. And it still has trouble rolling, even with the little tires I put under the hidden wheels, or on the hidden wheels. But, yeah. And my personal favorite is the Republic Juggernaut, like I said, because it's really fun to play with and really cool display stuff. And But if you're wanting something without wheels and you don't want it to move around, I recommend getting the ATTE Walker if you want something iconic and it doesn't you know roll and will stay in place i highly recommend the attc walker especially if you don't get, want to get the ones from like 2002 2008 and 2013 which are rather really expensive now kind of they're larger sets in terms of size but you know whatever and this is by long shot the smallest tx-130 uh, saber tank set out there republic fighter tank as lego calls it but yeah just gonna get that out of the way and uh, some of the other similarities between these two are the Republic tanks. They're all tanks used by the Galactic Republic. I've said that prior, but to be honest, there are not too many similarities. But in terms of the sets, both of these sets have wheels. But bone stock or stock, this set does not roll well at all. You need to put tires on it. There are hidden wheels under here. You need to put tires on them. Otherwise, it's just not even going to roll or barely roll at all. Even with these tires on it, I flick it and it barely rolls. It's not, it's just not, 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 a, not ideal. But the Republic Juggernaut moves smoothly and I love that. It's so much fun to just play with as if I'm a freaking eight-year-old. And yeah. And yep, that's that, people. That's all I got for y'all. As always, I am Reverend Skywalker. And that was my comparison on all three of the main tanks used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars as Lego sets. I'll see you next time. Bye.